Hello YouTubers, today we will be unboxing the Halo View RD7 wireless camera system, the Halo View CA112 wireless side marker light cameras, and the Halo View CA109 wireless license plate camera. Now the first unboxing that we're going to be doing is going to be on the Halo View RD7 camera system. Side, you've got the spec sheets, owner's manual, of course, which I'm going to be referring to. First thing on the top is going to be your screen. Okay, one of the things you want to remember when you do the install, I'm just going to give you a little heads up, is that this has got a plastic or a filament on it that's going to want to come off and you can tell by it's got the little red dot there on the top okay we've got the camera real good heavy duty camera complete with a mounting bracket and the shield this is going to be dash mount with a 3M pad. It's flexible so it can fit to your dashboard as far as the curvature. So this is something I'm very seriously considering on uh, using. That just slips into the back which we'll do temporarily here. Titans right here and it's got the slot so it's adjustable depending on how your dashboard is shaped. Okay, I'll just set that there for now. I'll spin it around so it sits up better. Okay, then we've got this is going to be a, a connector uh, and basically what that's for is this is going to be a splitter. You hook it up to the back of your camera and then uh, one end goes to the camera itself and then the other one goes to your power supply. And we've got another power cord here. I believe that's, that's going to be for the camera itself. Here we've got I believe it's about uh, 39 feet of cable and I want to make sure that I got plenty of it. I've got a 30 foot long camper but the way I plan on running it I'm going to use probably about every inch of it if it works out that way. That over here. This is going to go with the camera as well. And then this is going to be your repeater and it'll be an antenna that goes on top of here as well so that will connect to the other end of the cable so you'll run your cable from your camera to the repeater there we've got another adapter you've got a lot of cables so you won't need anything this is for your signal uh, or indicators and so if you want to hardwire this into your into your vehicle this will go directly to each one of your lines you've got uh, for the 12 volt you know power supply uh, we have positive and negative you got cameras grounds uh, this one here that's got for camera number two You've got camera number one, camera number uh, four, and then also the trigger mode. So basically what that does is like you can have it set up so when you turn on your left turn signal, your left camera will go on if you've got that particular camera. Uh, if you turn on the right signal, then the same thing in, you know, in reverse. If you want to set it up so when you put your vehicle in the reverse, the rear camera will come on, that'll do so.
this is going to be your 12 volt connector and actually this connects right to bring this out here right to the power supply to the back of your monitor so and this will just simply plug into it and then you've got this and actually what you'll need is this adapter that's over here I think we have another adapter, oh, here it is, here's the other adapter so this adapter you plug into here and then this plugs into your connector for your monitor and then this plugs into your uh, 12 volt outlet This is your bracket that you've got, and this is going to be like if you want to permanently mount it either to the roof of your cab or to the dashboard, you know, by using screws. This will be your sun shield. I wish I had one of these for my Garmin, but that just snaps over the front, stops any glare. In the event that you're going to be running your cable uh, for your repeater or on your roof, these have got cable. Ma it's a cable management system, and actually they come wire fixtures. And there's 12 of them in here. And what you do with those is you you peel off the back of the 3M tape, stick it to wherever you're going to be put it, and then you just strap around your cable, and that keeps it from flopping around. You've got another adapter in here. Uh, I believe what this adapter is for is going to be for uh, if you've got a Fury on camera system. And then uh, this will plug into your camera uh, uh, connector. And then if you've already got it pre wired for that, then this will hook it right in and you'll eliminate a lot of your uh, other wiring that you're going to need to connect right to your power supply. You've also got a 3M pad here and also you've got assortment of screws another adapter for the back of your camera uh, case in point what this would be used for ideally would be if you've got a pre-wired camera on the back of your RV uh, this one this is an adapter that will connect your hollow view camera to that pre -adapt that pre-drilled uh, other adapter or other uh, cameras and we've got some knobs basically what the knobs are for is going to be like for your, your uh, screen so you can adjust it accordingly while you're using it inside here two antennas one antenna being for the monitor And then the other antenna will be for your camera. And that's going to be mounting probably on the back here. I'm going to have to unscrew that just to get to it there. But that's what that's for. And that's basically everything you need. Uh, you've also got a little Allen wrench in here. So you're not going to have to run to the hardware store you should have all the tools you need uh, just basically a drill, screwdrivers uh, maybe some pliers, I seriously doubt that and that should pretty much cover everything for for uh, uh, installing your camera and your, your monitor this is everything all unboxed once again spec sheet, owner's manual, this is your dash mount with the 3M tape on it, there's your antenna for your monitor, of course the monitor, there's the bracket for mounting onto the dash or to the roof of your RV, the sun shield, knobs for the monitor and also extra screws that you may need uh, depending on how you're going to be installing it so you have all your fasteners 
indicator cable or harness that's what you're going to be using again to uh, hardwire it into your automotive system or your, your vehicle system uh, again this is going to be your 12 volt with the adapter and then you also have another adapter down here in case you need that you have your Ferion adapter in case you have a pre-wired for a Ferion camera and this allows you to connect to the Hellaview camera this is the Ferion or this is a Hellaview adapter for a Ferion mount also the camera uh, power supply for the camera or your, your cable your power harness for that and then again your repeater that little antenna by the way I said it was for the camera earlier it's not for the camera it's actually for the repeater and so you can place that P that repeater either up front of your RV or else you can put it back by the camera whichever kind of works out best for you of course you've got your 39 feet of cable 3M tape and your 3M connectors for your wiring harnesses okay the next unboxing I have is for the Hollowview CA 112 side marker lights again the same type of box really nice packaging as far as uh, the camera and the marker lights I was very impressed uh, with the camera setup or not the camera setup in the screen and uh, the side marker lights aren't much different I mean as far as packaging again you've got your instructions and your instructions do give you by the way different options uh, especially on the camera tells you good places to put them um, one of the things that I think I'm going to do is uh, they're saying that possibly to put the marker lights maybe behind your front door of your RV I'm going to put them I think on the very front of the RV itself on the very front marker lights on each side that way it's going to I can see a full view so again pretty well good packaging on it this of course is going to be your side marker light with your camera <coughs> excuse me and where's the wiring positive negative you know and so uh, <coughs> this one obviously is going to go on the left side of the RV so that you've got actually I take that back it's going to go on the right side of the RV because uh, you've got your antenna mount on the top your lights going to be towards the front and you want the camera facing towards the rear and then for that camera you have an antenna again mounts very easily just twist on these also have LED lights on them and I'm counting six of them on here so that's going to be really good for night vision <coughs> oh, allergies the next one's going to be the other side and then of course this one's going to be see this is going to be on the right so obviously this one's going to be on the left same thing and antenna oop gotta dig that out of there fumbling around here a little bit okay there's your there's your lights and then you've got a wire connector also screws and this is going to be to put your and you also have uh, your wire nuts or crimp nuts on them so 
So you should have just about everything you need on that. And let's see, as far as your instructions, yep, it does give you your specifications on it. Tells you pretty much how to set it up. It's basically one, two, three, very easy to do. So uh, they're they're recommending to use some uh, uh, glue or something, to cement for the screw holes. That's yet to be seen. So we'll see. But in the meantime, that pretty much takes care of it for the marker lights. These, I'm trying to remember, I'm thinking they ran right about a hundred dollars. Now, on this camera and um, this whole outfit, I did not get this sent to me free. I paid for this out of pocket. I did contact Halo View. I've got to be totally honest with you. Asked them about possibly getting a, uh, some, a product to um, do a demonstration on or a install and review of it. And um, basically they says, well, because I don't have that many subscribers, so I need your help, but uh, because they don't have enough sub sub subscribers, which I believe is probably like over a thousand and I'm not even at a hundred yet, um, I don't have enough to warrant the camera to be sent to me at no charge. However, they were very helpful and very willing to send me um, or provide me with a coupon, which gave me a considerable savings on uh, the entire camera outfit. And they depend on which camera I wanted and what what items. I originally wanted the uh, mirror mount, and after looking into it, I saw that the mirror mount did not have the capability to having multiple cameras. And so I felt, well, the RD7 I think would probably do me much better, and uh, that would not only give me multiple cameras but it would also provide um, a lot better uh, um, installation and uh, be more flexible for me. So, so I ended up getting with the RD7 and the CEA 112 side mounts and uh, that's going to make it quite nice. So um, of course, I'll let you know, or I'll put the video up as soon as I do the installs as well. Now, my last unboxing <coughs> and my final camera, at least for the time being, is going to be for the CA-112. Oops, I take that back. Not the CA-112. It's the CA-109. See, that's the 109 there? Yep, 109. That is the license plate mount. And the reason I got this is not to put on the back of the camper. I'm going to be putting this on the back of my Silverado. Now my, my uh, Silverado 1500 LT does have a rear camera, but my biggest problem with that rear camera is that it doesn't do a good job when I'm trying to back up to the hitch. It gets me in the general area, but I still have to get out and either get, run from the cab back to the hitch to see where I'm at, and or else rely on Maryland to do the check, you know, check on that for me. What this camera is going to do is going to eliminate this. This is going to be, be aimed directly at my uh, uh, hitch. I'll only use this when I'm hooking up to 
a trailer of some sort and this will be mounted right to my truck and again it's very simple mount just the two license plate screws and one of the things I understand is what they give you see if I can find it in here where it's buried is that I believe they gave you they gave me I have to look for them maybe <laughs> but security screws if they don't have them I will go out and get some security screws because again this is going to be a little pricey piece of equipment I think it's right around fifty dollars but you don't want that stolen so what I'm going to do is use security screws to mount it onto my license plate or you know the license plate bracket and that way it'll prevent uh, um, or d maybe not prevent but it may deter some you know some uh, potential thieves or somebody who thinks that's going to be a nice item for themselves so again it's got the grommet for any place where you're going to be drilling a hole this is your your power supply and basically the way they recommend you doing this is to run it from the camera to your backup light and just simply remove your lens and wire this on to your positive and negative of your backup light bulb you know connector that's not a real big one to do but so be it it does have um, uh, the specifications on it and possibly since it came right along with my other camera uh, the RD7 those screws that uh, extra screws that were in there are likely to be the uh, security screws and I'll certainly let you know for sure you know if they were or not so this is going to pretty much kind of complete out my entire system that I'm going to have on my vehicle and the RV so it'll make it for a very nice uh, setup. I have had in the past, I don't know if I've mentioned it or not, but I've been using the BC30 camera that comes with my Garmin RV660 that I've had for a few years and it has worked out quite well. My issue though is that uh, this year uh, I found it was blowing fuses and uh, finally during my last trip going over to uh, Grand Haven State Park it died on me completely so I really had absolutely no rear view on my you know or backup camera on the back of my camera or camper so uh, <clears throat> that basically pushed me to pull the trigger and to get the complete outfit and so by going with the RD7 that's going to give me plenty of range uh, I believe it's going to be more than what I really need to get good quality pictures without interruptions with the CA112 that's going to give me real nice camera views from left and right when I have people on my blind side on my camper and I don't see them in my mirrors and then with this camera the CA109 that's going to make backing up and hooking up to my hitch or the hooking up the camera camper uh, a much better uh, or easier task. Uh, I've always been jealous of the F150s to 350s because when they the newer ones when they had the backup cameras on those uh, they do a better job as far as uh, zeroing in on that hitch. So um, I think what I've seen in the past as far as some other videos that a lot of people who've got that uh, F1 you know that F series Ford uh, they've been mounting this camera if they have it on the front and so they have a front view camera like a dash cam only it's more of a factory look install and so um, if you watch I love RV life they, he's done that same thing and so but for me I just need something 
that's going to be much more efficient that gives me a lot better view of my hitch when I'm backing up to hook up to it. I hope this unboxing helped answer some questions that you might have had about the Halo View wireless camera system. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And most of all, thanks for watching.